We've been hit again, guys. And this time, the apex predator is showing us who the apex predator is. Back out here at the chicken coop, where we had been trapping some predators, we've caught a coon, we've caught a possum. It's not finished. It's still attacking and killing chickens. And the biggest problem is that we still had traps set. He ignored the traps and went straight to a chicken itself. And let me, well, let me show you the damage here. So under here, this is where it came. This is the cage. There is the chicken. That is amazing. Sit out here. You can see where he wore down the grass right here. But that is exactly what's left of that chicken. Nothing but bones. Whatever this critter is, it was more efficient at eating a chicken leg than me. And I'm just going to be really honest, guys. That's pretty efficient. Like, he scraped the bone. He done a good job. I, I will give him credit on that. He did not waste any meat. But for real, guys, this needs to stop. Like, he tried to break in. He broke into a cage that there wasn't even chicken in. Broke in here. He bent the wire, bent this out a lot. He may have even went in there. I'm not sure. But he straight up tampered with this cage right here. Even walked all over the top of it, and there wasn't even a chicken in it. Guys, we've got an endoraptor on our hands. I don't know what I'm going to do. But the more I think about what this critter is, the more I realize... Endoraptors... It's not an endoraptor. Endoraptors don't have thumbs. And whatever predator this is, it has to have thumbs because nothing can scrape a chicken leg like that without thumbs. You see these? Yeah, it's a thumb. That's the only reason I can. You take a fox, for example, he can't reach in the cage and eat it like a chicken leg. Like if this was a fox on her hands, maybe even a skunk or a coyote, he can't reach in there and eat it. That brings us down to three predators out here in the woods. One, a possum. Maybe. Two, more likely, a coon. Or three, a compsognathus. And I know what you're thinking. What in the world is that? And I know, guys, that's what I was thinking the first time I saw one run through a field. But let me show you a picture of it. See? That little thing, them little things that, you know, in the Jurassic Park, maybe? See, there's a bunch of them. I mean, as we can see from this picture, they're definitely carnivores. And if you look closely, they have opposable thumbs. But then again, you also have to take into account, I've not saw one of those around here in about three years. So... I'm going to say it's a coon. But because it's honestly getting pretty dark out here, I got to work quick, guys. We're setting four traps. Four traps. Yes, that's right. We're going to reset that dog proof on the tire. We're going to set that cage trap, another cage trap, and another dog proof. Like, we have to get this guy. If we don't, we may just have to go into pigs or something, because chickens, there will be no more. And the true apex predator will be restored to the black bear. Like, honestly, not even the black bears bother us this much. As for bait and two of the dog proofs and one cage trap, it's gonna be straight dog food and honey. But the carcass, the few bones, and a little bit of meat off that old chicken, I'm putting it in this cage trap. Hopefully this guy will get confused and accidentally get caught here tonight. That is the plan. I tell you what, guys, because it's getting dark and I gotta go work quick, I'm gonna turn off the camera, get all these traps set, and I'll get back to you very soon. Okay, guys, it's been about 10 minutes. I got all four of the traps set. We have this dog proof here. I put some dog food down in it, honey on top as usual for my dog proofs this cage trap over here beside the barn same thing in it some dog food some honey you can't see too good back in there but it's a dog proof inside the woods a little bit with dog food and honey then right here's the other cage trap chicken carcass right in there now here's what i'm saying guys 96 and a half percent chance we have the critter in a trap tomorrow like he's been back two nights in a row i've got four tasty traps set for him we have to catch him and if we don't catch him something's bad wrong like my uncle said if i don't catch him tonight then he's getting up on the roof with a shotgun and just gonna wait on him needless to say i got a little bit of pressure on me tonight to catch him but let's just say that we do catch him in the morning i want you guys to go right up here click the eye and vote what trap am I going to catch him in? Am I going to catch him in the tire dog proof trap? Am I going to catch him in the cage trap with dog food? Am I going to catch him in the woods dog proof? The one that I actually put in the woods a little bit. Or am I going to catch him in the cage trap with a chicken carcass? Go on up there, click the I, vote for yourself. Personally, if I had to vote, I'm going to say the dog proof in the woods just because I think that's the first one he's going to come to. And don't be fooled, guys. There's probably more than one out here. Like, I'm going to have to trap this for a while just because, well, we've done caught two critters and we've obviously not even got close it's gonna be crazy guys like that's all i can say we are truly in danger of velociraptors here like i should probably go home before it gets too dark before i get eaten myself let's be honest guys i gotta go home before i die see you in the morning guys because i'm about positive we'll have one okay guys it's the next day i've not looked at the traps yet but we're going around the barn and we'll see if we got anything the odds are we should have caught something here we go let's uh Bro, I didn't even know Velociraptors got that big. What in the world is this? We got him. Sure did. Now, he's not a Velociraptor, but he is a raccoon, and I tell you what, I don't think he's too happy. He's a mad, well, he's a mad one, too. He's not... 
Oh, right there on the tire. And I was actually kind of curious if a coon could actually drag the tire, but it looks like he didn't move it at all, actually. But that's not all. Over there in that one, there's nothing in it, but let's go check these other traps because we could have had more than one. Oh man. Dude, what is this? Bro, there's nothing in this cage trap, but that's exactly the thing. There's nothing in it. Not even the chicken carcass that we put in there last night. And this cage trap, it's also pulled over, so something had been in there, actually stole the carcass, and got away with it. And as for that dog proof back in there, well, nothing's there. But that's okay, guys, because we caught the guy who's actually been doing all the damage. So we think there could be more, and there probably honestly is, but right now, I've got to get this guy out of this dog proof, put him in a cage, and then we're going to transport him, do something with him, just like we did the possum and the other coon. Because as you know, guys, it's not coon season, it's not trapping season, and honestly, I don't really have anything to do with this guy. Like, I don't want to kill him, I don't want to eat him today, I don't want to skin him today. We're just going to take him out of this area because he does not need to be here. Look at him, though. Big old fat boy. <laughs> But anyways, guys, I'm going to get out the catch pole, do it just like that last coon. He's trying to get in that tire. And he just did. Okay, well, that's kind of, that's kind of weird. His head is in the tire. Never seen a coon do that before. <laughs> he didn't like that, did he? But anyways, let's get up this cage trap right here, just like last time. Do it with the catch pole, release him. Okay, guys, here we go. I've got to somehow figure out how to get this guy, but... Okay. He's biting my thing. First, before... What is this man doing? Right now he's trying to bite my thing. Bro, leave it alone. Now I got his foot out of the tower. That's what I was originally trying to do because with his foot in the tire. Oh my gosh. With his foot in the tire, there's not much I could do. Like I couldn't even release him even if I had him. And so Grey Gang, here we go. I'm going in. This is the final stand with this guy. The final act of the battle. I'm just going to go in, get him around the neck, get him out of the trap, stuff him in that cage, and then our battle will be done. He'll be in the cage. But before I do that, I want to remind you, if you want to support the channel, if you want to support the race for Rodney, Rodney the raccoon over here, you know where to go. KentonGrade1.com slash shop. Get you some merch like this merch or the merch I was wearing yesterday. But right now, guys, we got to get this guy before he figures out how to get away from this tire. Oh, man. He keeps biting my thing, and he won't let me wrap it around his neck because he bites it. It's wet. That's what it is. What does that tell you about him? He's biting onto it and holding on to it himself. Leave it alone, dude. Oh no, no. Oh no. If that didn't work out as planned, did it? This is no easy task, guys. This guy's just trying to be difficult today. Okay, buddy. No more playing around. It's time for you to go in. You've been wanted dead or alive. And this is your last chance. Let's go in alive, buddy. Let's go. It's raining. If neither one of us has time for this. Let go of the trap. It is raining. It's got to go. Come on. Okay, guys. It's raining. I can't do this. Oh, man. This raccoon is insane. I can't get him. I can't shake him. Okay, it's been about 10, 15 minutes of rain later. It's time to go the second time. This guy is proven very difficult. Like this, honestly, I'm going to put this guy above coyotes, above fox, above every other coon. This guy is the most difficult to deal with ever. Like y'all saw the last coon. Like, you know, I walked up, I lassoed his neck, pulled him out, got him in the cage. It was over in about, probably about 15 seconds. This guy, I've been here for 10 minutes off footage trying to get him and I just can't do it. Like this guy knows his way around traps. I will say that for sure he knows how to open trap he knows to grab the thing because whenever he grabs the rope and chews on it i can't really get him so he's actually a really smart coon which we knew he was we i even thought he's an endoraptor for a second and then i realized he's not but i'm about positive he does have some raptor blood in him so that probably explains his you know his brain but anyways here we go guys trial two if i can't get him this time i don't know what we'll do but we'll get him don't worry maybe i should try to interrogate him listen it would be better for you if you just complied i promise Tried. Let me get my cage back. Oh, oh ho! Look who's stuck now. He's stuck in my cage trap. I will take full advantage of that, big boy. You're the one who got yourself stuck in it, and now you are stuck in it. Not so tough now, are you? I believe I may have you here. Got him. Oh my goodness, this is so scary. Gotta eat that, big boy. This guy's gonna eat me. No! No! Oh my gosh, he almost got out. Are you kidding me? This guy's insane. He almost got out. 
Oh my gosh. He's in there now though. Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? I almost let him get out. Kendall, dude, get your head in the game. That was bad. I literally almost let a criminal that has been tormenting our chickens for two weeks, I almost let him just walk out of the trap right there. Like I had him in it, I was letting go of it, giving him slack and everything. Then the door, he fell on the door, opened the door, and then I cinched it down real fast. If I hadn't cinched it down, that would have been bad. I would have let the guy who had this thinking kill streak of like five right now, I would have let him go. Whenever there's a dude out there with a kill streak like that, you best put him down because you'll get extra points for killing him. You know, the top player bonus. And I think that's what I may have just done today, guys. I got a few bonus points. Rodney, bro, why are you so mad at the world? Well, never mind. I, I understand you kind of got trapped last night, but... As for the rain, I think the rain's maybe going to stop right now. It definitely made it harder because now I got a wet, soggy coon instead of just a coon. Which wet, soggy coons are like plus 10 in the mad factor. I ain't even kidding. We'll get a few up-close shots at this guy, see if he'll grab the camera. Honestly... Oh my gosh. This one scares me 10 times more than the last one. Rodney right here scares me a whole lot more than Roger ever did. He's trying to find a way out so he, that he can literally eat me. Like that coon. He's not even a bit... Oh man, he just, he just slung water in my mouth. He's not even that big. Like he's probably... I'll weigh him right here, I guess. He is literally... Oh my gosh. We got a stinking seven pound coon right here that's a really small coon like he's not an old coon or anything but he's so smart like he has to have learned it from somebody else and we did catch him in the dog proof and as you can see this hand right here he's already using it again grabbing cages and stuff so that just shows how good dog proof traps are because they don't hurt him at all he's perfectly fine he wants me and him to get in a room by ourselves with like no cages or anything he wants to rip me to pieces look at him listen to those growls Oh my gosh, he's getting ready to attack, guys. He's getting ready. He's balling up, looking small, then he's going to jump out. Yep, there he goes. Rodney, it's been a pleasure, and I'm happy to get you off my town. But to be completely honest, guys, I do not think he's the only one, and I definitely don't think he's the last one. I think there's more, and I think there's a lot more. So I'll tell you what, guys, we're definitely going to keep these traps set for about another week. <laughs> All right, these chickens, they're insane. They're, they're literally insane. Like, this is not even cool. Hey, chickens, can y'all, like, lower the voice level down to a one? Okay. Try and make a video here. Use your inside voice. Thank you. But, yeah, guys, we... So now I'm out here at a little bit quieter spot. Out here at the pond this time. No chickens to interrupt me anymore. But we got Rodney. What do you say, Rodney? Have you had a good time eating all those chicken legs? Ooh. Okay, I do give it to you. You're kind of scary, but you're also in a cage. You can't really do much. I've seen some mad coons, but I'm going to have to say that guy is one of the maddest. He was so difficult, guys. Like, it's almost like he knew how to get out of a catch pole thing. But as we know right now, guys, Rodney Raccoon, he has been captured and taken in for questioning. However, the hunt still continues. There's more. Shoot, guys, look at this. This coon literally knows how to get out of a cage trap. Get back in that cage. Get back in there. Big boy, you ain't breaking out of this one. He had his hands out here trying to push down because he knows how to open them. This guy knows how to open up cage traps. This one just happens to have this lock right here. Look at him. He's going to try to do it again. He just about broke out too. And that is not okay, dude. That is not okay. You're not... Look. Look at it. He knows to stick his arm out. He knows. What is he doing? This guy literally knows how to get out of a cage trap. Leave it alone. Stop trying to get out of my cage! Make sure you go down and get some of the hottest merch in the game at kindlegray1.com slash shop. Thanks for letting me shout you out, Kendall.